Hey everybody, welcome back to Fawin Channel with Fawin and Friends featuring Micro. Hi everybody, it's great to be back. And by the way, I am not as cold now. <laughs> Fawin usually likes keeping his recording area like a tundra. <laughs> so I grabbed a warm fleece blanket and I had my little Doctor Who booties on. Well, Sparrow said, perhaps you should have been born a penguin. You can Then you could. I am it. not Sparrow, sir. <laughs> not real life, not real All life. All right, well anyway, so, uh, so we got a couple of train tickets from Signier's, what I'm going to assume, parents, who flew the coop. It's it's funny. They say um, the the fox asked if they flew south for the winter, but Vienna is like west. That's, <laughs> that's why it's a code. <laughs> it's a silly code that doesn't make sense. It is more south than Paris is, though. Perhaps southwest, then. <laughs> so I want to go to La Halle's next. La Halle's? What was that? That is where Mademoiselle Signier is. Oh, she was? Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's not going to cost us any time, so we, we can go yeah. over there real quick. Maybe we get to see something. Maybe we see yeah. her again. Nope. That's strange. I don't see any sign of the flower girl. Yeah, probably because you scared her off with your crazy tact and finesse strategy. Oh, that, yeah, this all was, was before. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay. I think Mousy was the only person worthy of there. But, uh, well, it sounds really loud right now. There we go. So should we go to the Chocolate Emporium, the Louvre, or... We can try the Conciergerie again to see if we can get in this time. Hmm? We can try the, the Jailhouse. No, no. It won't take us all day. One, it won't take us all day. Two, we have the ticket stubs to t show to one. We, we could try. I don't think Quark is going to let us in, though. If he doesn't, then we haven't wasted a day. Yeah, Quark's not going to let us in. Okay. <laughs> He's like, fuck off. <laughs> Do we want to go back to the Palace de Justice? No, no, no. Sorry. The um, Louvre? <sighs> Let's go to our office. When was the last time we went back to the office? <laughs> Maybe we have mail is what you're thinking. Yeah, or something. Stop messing around, Falcon. Let's help out Prince Juan already. Okay, that was just a long, large waste of time. Okay, so do we want to go to, I to think the Louvre? Yeah. A chocolate Emporium. I that. We're going to go to the Canard Joyeux, the tavern. Maybe we can hear something from the locals. Mm. Maybe well, they're discussing a the trial. Let's see. Today's the 19th. We'll have the 19th and the 20th. And that's so it. we won't have the 21st because that's the next day right. of the trial. So. We can only pick two of these three items. Um, I don't know if we're going to learn anything more from the palace. D D Louvre. Uh, I think we may hear stuff from people at the tavern. I think you might be right, but I kind of want to go to the Louvre. I feel like there's something there that both parties missed. Right, but I f maybe we should go to the tavern first to get clues, potentially. Then we can go to the Louvre the next day. Okay, okay, we'll do that. Think awesome. So what are we doing today? Playing cards until we're flat out broke? Maybe. Let's see. Should we try the card? Yeah. Let's just check out the entrance real quick. Are we ready to hit the road? No. What? Oh, okay, so card room. We'll go card room. We'll work, work our way down. Okay. Oh, the big fellow has returned. Here to play some cards, monsieur. Not today. I'm afraid I don't have time for that, monsieur. I have some investigation, investigative work to go. Come, Come on. on, surely you have time for a good game. Thank you. Fuck it, we'll do it. <laughs> All right, you've twisted my arm. Very well, then. Do you know how to play? Of course. Of course. Yeah, it's blackjack. Yes, that's right. Don't get cocky, Falcon. Very good. I shall be the dealer. We will bet five francs a game. Here we go. Okay. Yep, it's blackjack. Mm-hmm. So that's three, three four, four, nine, eighteen. Hit or stay? I would hit, but that's just me. I'll hit it. Damn! Oh, sorry. We'll do one more hand. Unlucky hand, most unfortunate. I think they'll talk more if we win at least once, right? Yeah. Let's try it out. Well, this will be our last try. I'm going to say screw it. Mm -hmm. I like this little mini game, though. <laughs> it's cute. Okay, you just give me the cads. 11. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, we're going to hit. 16. You have five or less. <gasps> Damn it! I'm lucky. Last one. <laughs> uh <laughs> We should I, never go gambling. No, it's not that. I know that if we win, we might get some information from them. And so I feel like I have to beat them. Okay. For all I know, I'm completely wrong, and this is just a wild goose chase. Although he's an otter. But anyways. <laughs> Seven. 
13. What? Damn it! Oh, I quit. How much money do you have? I'm done. We're done. Yeah, I'm done. Uh, I understand. Feel free. You have a drinking room. Alright. I first turn to the drinking floor, but no one appears to be... Um, okay, it's gotta that? be them! They're the only thing reason to be here. We okay. have we have to beat them. How much money do you have? I don't know. Not a lot. Check your wallet. 24, okay. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Absolutely, let's try it in. Rufus, damn you, Rufus. Are you sure he's an otter? I thought he was just a weird looking dog. No, no, he's an otter. Look at it, like the, the fingers and stuff. I thought they had human hands. Not that guy, apparently. I know, that's totally an otter. Because I thought it was like a French bulldog. Well, maybe it is, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just gonna keep calling it otter. I think he's an otter. <laughs> Do you think this game's rigged? I'm leaning that way. One. Five. Sixteen. He beats me when he's so pissed. What? Arr! By he, one? He just has to beat us. I'm not giving CIM as a You're such okay. a jerk, Mr. French Bulldog slash Otter. Maybe I have to go broke and then it'll like, okay, well, this, that, well, and It's not other. like we're using the money for anything anyway. Yeah, really. Watch, we're gonna need it. What if we need money to buy chocolate from the Chocolate Emporium? Oh, crud. Okay, this will be our last one then. Okay. One more. What? Urgh! This game's rigged. Can I, can I get a different dealer? Last one? Yeah, last one. Well, ha we should have enough money for chocolate. Done. Stand. What? This is rigged. He got exactly what uh, I'm done. You guys are a bunch of freaking cheaters. I'm done. We just wasted a day, though. Yeah, I'm sorry I suggested this. Yep, yep. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. We'll go to... Should we go to Lou of the Chocolate Emporium? I don't know anymore. I th I'm wondering if... I don't know anymore, Cotwin. I'm wondering if that place is specifically there to throw you off and screw you what, over. What, the tavern? Yeah, because it what? takes a whole day and we, we always lose. I'm just... Oh. Whoa! What happened? We only have one place to go. What, what just happened? Okay, let's try there then, I guess. Is it the threatened people? I feel pretty comfortable about this case. The big pictures. Is Ugh! it really? We, it is not. We done it. Other. We done messed up. I'm somewhat relieved that Prince Juan came clean. His secret was putting the whole case in jeopardy. We still got one day until the trial, but how to spend it? Did you realize they misspelled jeopardy? No, I did not. They totally misspelled. I think they misspelled jeopardy. Anyway. I suppose we could revisit the Louvre, or maybe we should play some cards. Uh, Something wrong, Sparrowson. You're being unusually quiet. Falcon, we need to talk. What's up? See, I was doing some thinking. Dangerous thing to do, I know. Anyway, I realize we're missing a crucial piece of evidence. What evidence would that be? Well, you know Major Howe consumed a piece of chocolate before he died. And we know he died of poisoning. We still aren't sure the chocolate was the cause. That's true. If we keep pushing the chocolate theory, Cocrito will almost certainly bring that up. So I thought to myself, if one were to consume the wrapper itself, that may provide proof of whether it contains traces of poison. Well, sure, that could work, but it would be incredibly foolish. Wait, were you thinking of eating the wrapper, Sparrowson? Maybe. Well, stop those thoughts right now. I'm not going to let you potentially kill yourself like that. I knew you would say that. That's why I already consumed the wrapper. What? 45 minutes ago. Sparrowson, Sparrowson! Are you uh, kidding me? It's because we wasted so much time. The game is trying to be like, this shit was poison. Yeah. Uh, Doctor, is Sparrowson okay? Well, he's not conscious right now, but he is stable. I think it's safe to say that your friend is not on his deathbed. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank oh, God. <gasps> How did you say this happened again? It's a long story, lowering occupational no, hazard. Lord. Doctor... Can you tell me what poison caused this? I have no idea. I am an expert in mental health, uh. not toxicology. <laughs> Holy shit. But I have sent for a specialist who should be here by tomorrow morning. He will make a full assessment. It's good to hear. Thanks, doctor. Take good care of him. Wait a moment. There is a matter of uh -oh. the bill. 
We'll have to discuss it later. I have an important case to prepare for, and I'm one partner down. I see. Well, rest, a- rest assured that your friend is in good hands. Oh, man. This is terrible. What the hell was Sparrow's thinking? I can't win a case like this. You have finally found you. Do you say something? Running around like a headless chicken. You're one tricky lawyer to find. It's pretty mousy. I told you to drop the investigation, but you just wouldn't listen. <gasps> Who's speaking? I can't see, monsieur. Step forward. All right, I'll step forward. That'll be the last thing you'll ever see. The wolf is. No, it's the, it's the judge. Romulus. Is the last thing we saw. Everything went black. Uh, or what would you say? Oh, oh, what just happened? Where am I? Am I dead? No, that can't be right. This is nighttime. I'm just oh sleeping. God. If I focus on counter three, I should be able to wake up. One, two. This is creepy. Ooh. Did it work? <gasps> no! Oh, damn, Catraline. I can't believe how easy. You were... I can't believe you, how easy it is. you were to fool. I put on a cutesy voice, acted honest, and you ate the whole thing up. Yeah, no, I don't think He's we're dreaming. Yeah, I think this is a dream sequence or a hallucination. Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! I don't need to be lectured by a murderer. I'm the murderer. Why, Monsieur Falcon? It was your accusations that put Baron Rowell on death row? It wasn't my. It fault. wasn't my oh. fault. Hey, where are you going? Out of my way, Severin. I'm not done talking to damn Catraline. It wasn't my fault. Is that the excuse you make after all of your failures? I'm not making excuses. Failure after failure after failure. No desire to improve yourself for a joke of a lawyer, JJ. Don't call me JJ. That's all you have to say? How pathetic. You don't even deserve to stand in your father's sha- grandfather's shadow. My... my grandfather? I mean, are we going to see his grandfather now? I'll prove you wrong. I can do better. Oh, it's you, Sparrowson. Have you come to that me too? What? No, no, no. I'm just here to tell you to wake up. Wake up, monsieur. Wake up. Hey, can you hear me? I said wake up. What the hell just happened? I don't know, but it's trial day. Yep. Or oh, the Pont des Arts. That's the only place we can go. That's probably where we're waking up. Come on, monsieur, wake up. I said, wake up, you're standing, you're starting to worry me. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. I wasn't sure whether I would have to find a doctor or a mortician. Someone threw him in the river. Ugh, oh, my head. Ugh, where, where am I? Pontiards, you know, the Louvre, by the Louvre in Paris, France. I just fished you out of the sea and nearly broke my rod doing it. Wait, I know you. You're that disrespectful lawyer guy. Giro Falco or something. What time is it? Actually, what day is it? You hit your head pretty hard, huh? It's the 21st of January and around 9 o'clock in the morning by my reckoning. 21st? 9 o'clock? Oh no, the trial! I should have been at the court this is 10 minutes ago. Well, I hope you're already late, but take it easy, monsieur. I'm sure there'll be understanding. Maybe if I sprint in, in your condition, that would be stupid. Take a seat. Clear your head. I'll go get some dry clothes. No time. What's that? Wait, hey, monsieur. At least take this before you go. What's this? A dip pen? No, wait. It's a modern fountain pen. Fountain handle. Gold nip. This is very fancy. Thanks, monsieur, but this isn't mine. Really, are you sure? You were holding it pretty tightly when I found you. I was holding this? Then, so it has to be mine. Huh. It's, it's, it got, it's the poison that he tried to inject into me or, or stab yeah. me or kill me with. Thanks, fisherman. I owe you one. I'm about to fish him in. <laughs> Hey, don't call me a fisherman! <laughs> you knew it. You knew it, Falwin. I'm so intrigued by this. Oh, God. I'm gonna look terrible. It's 9 o'clock. I believe it's time for the roll call. <laughs> is the defense not present? <laughs> Such unprofessionalism. If there's no defense, the trial cannot proceed any further. We must make a ruling based on evidence that has already been presented. I will now converse with the jury should decide whether Prince Juan is guilty of murdering Major Hall and of conspiring to murder the king. Your Honor may have a word. Fine, but make it quick. I'm a firm believer the trial must be orderly and punctual. There is no room for wishy-washy dilly-dallying, but it seems somewhat rash into a trial session the moment it is due to start. Perhaps we'll be prudent to wait five or ten minutes in case the defense is just a little tardy. Then the trial has still a chance to proceed and justice will be served. So he is about 
justice. He is about justice. It's not about whether I win or lose. So much as as long as justice is served. So he has like a, a an honor code of some yeah, kind. Yeah, that's what it seems like. You are the prosecution, are you not? You have nothing to worry about. A guilty verdict is all but guaranteed. No matter you appear confused, I'm not here to secure a guilty verdict. Of course you are. You're a prosecutor. By definition, you're here to prosecute. No, my job description is to prosecute, but I am here in this courtroom to ensure that justice is served. An unfair and unbalanced trial is not in the spirit of justice. So, if I think he'll be on our side if we... We give him evidence. Could give him good evidence to... to um. Show that our client is innocent and that there's another guilty party. Right, I think so too. That's very noble of you, but if the defense is absent, then there is little to be done. I'll hear no more about this matter. I will now talk with the jury. The... (laughs) The defense is present, Your Honor. Dot, dot, dot. You're too late, Falcon. Mon Dieu, Gigi, look into like a total mess. Did you take a morning swim the Seine or something? Something like that. Something like that. Your Honor, we're all present. We're only three minutes over schedule. Let's not needlessly direct the pure, dirty the pure name of justice. Rules are rules, prosecutor. Falcon clearly has no respect for legal procedure. Frankly, for turning up looking like a drowned rat, I ought to hold him in contempt of court. Your Honor. But Your Honor. Rules are rules. We're going out of either of you. I shall have you both disbarred. Wow. What a douche. It's a pity. The King of France was most looking forward to standing behind the witness podium. Ha ha ha. The Whoa. King of France? He's here? Oh, I love that he's a penguin! Oh, are we not doing this one? Can I do this one? Yes, you can do this one. Oh, are we not doing the trial after all? That's a pity. I'm gonna make him as flamboyant as possible. <laughs> uh, Your Majesty! What a surprise. We are well, you see. You know, it's my seventh time oh testifying against a would-be assassin. Oh my gosh, she sounds so proud. But it's the first time seeing a trial where the case has ended before it even began. Well, the defense, uh, he was late and, uh... Oh, pish posh, France did become a great and dignified kingdom through rigorous punctuality. <laughs> Let's go ahead with the trial. It'll be fun. Look, I'll say the oath just to get us started. Oh my gosh. I swear to speak without hatred or without fear, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Did I do it? Did I get it right? That was perfect, Your Majesty. JJ, I trust you have no objections with the king testifying. No, no objections here. Going ahead with the trial is fine with me. And surely you wouldn't stand in the way of the king, would you, your honor? <laughs> Screwed him over, didn't he? <laughs> Gah, fine! Proceed with this cursed trial. Excellent. Now, your majesty, could you tell us your activities on the day of the murder? My activities? Well, I started my day with tea and toast, as I normally do. I was dressed in my PJs at the time. Oh my god. I think you can skip a little ahead, perhaps your arrival at the Louvre. Ah, right, of course. Well, my entourage and I entered the Louvre South entrance around nine, nine o'clock. We passed through the Salle du Tiber with little fanfare. At the Grand Gallery, I unveiled the new painting and gave a short speech to inspire the citizens who attend. That's when I uh, was approached by a man claiming to be the Prince of Spain. He presented a rose which was taken by Major Howell, and well, I think you know the rest. Indeed we do, Your Majesty. Madame is still the court. We have now is another testimony that establishes Prince Juan's guilt. As an ordinary testimony, is a testimony of perhaps the most trustworthy man in all of France. Oh, you flatter me, prosecutor. But I am the trustworthiest in all the kingdom, aren't I? I have no doubts, Your Majesty. <laughs> That's me. I'm sorry, I was so excited. I have no doubts, Your Majesty. Nonetheless, I would like to perform a cross examination. <sighs> How dare you doubt your king, daughter nerve? Oh, calm yourself, Judge. I have no qualms with standard legal procedure. Defense, please proceed. I want to see your best courtroom drama material. I love it. This oh, guy. Oh, he's like, God. he's like, this is like a play to him or something like that. He's you know. like, oh, normal people. This is what they do. Yeah, right. It's like, ooh, ooh, the, the simple folk. I'm curious. Okay, so the south entrance, nine o'clock. That seems to be corroborated. Yeah. yeah. Sal de Tibre. Grand Gallery. That's where we found the chocolate. The chocolate. So we kind of want to go there, I think. I was either that or the Prince of Spain. Well, Instead of claiming, claiming. So I, I, I can't really go that. Uh, in the uh, Grand Gallery, I unveiled the new painting and gave a short speech. I think it's going to be the Sally du Tibre. Yeah, let's ask him about that. Your Majesty, you said that you passed through the Sally du Tibre uneventfully. 
Indeed. We stopped briefly to look at the paintings, and then we moved on to the Grand Gallery. What did you see? What about the other rooms? Oh, okay. There are several rooms between the Louvre's south entrance and the Grand Gallery, but you've only mentioned the Salut de Tourbier by name. Why is that? Oh, the Salut de Tourbier was the only room we looked around in detail. The other rooms we simply passed straight through. Why did you stop in that room specifically? Well, you see, there was this giant doorstop that caught my eye and uh-huh, sparked a debate. It. I got it. Yeah. Say no more, Your Majesty. Yes. What did you see? The yeah. doorstop. Could you elaborate? What do you see in the Salle du Tibia? What I see? Well, Roman stuff mostly. I'm going to start from the Roman artifacts. For example, did you talk to someone in the room who wasn't a member of your entourage? You're reaching JJ. The king already testified that he passed through without entering any something sort of interest. I wanted to elaborate, yeah. I don't want to push too hard, though. No, I think we'll be fine. I have no reason to believe that this was a key moment of the day of the murder. I want the king to elaborate on exactly uh, what and who he saw. And I suppose we'll have to proceed, Your Majesty. All right, let me think. So there was that giant doorstop, and there was that copper and That's thing. where we found the... Mm-hmm. Oh, there was something else. Good call. I'm, I'm yeah. pushing him. Oh, there was something else. Now that you ask, I was offered a box of chocolates by some peasant, a mademoiselle. She was mm. framing the fox. Yeah. No, I think f- the fox took the fall, but I think she was trying to poison yeah. him. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, but Major Howard was keen to accept a chocolate or two on my behalf. So now we've proven that he ate the chocolate no, at the time of the murder. We don't know if it's the same chocolate. We've shown that. Well, we. Well, we found we the tie, chocolate. We can in tie. The urn. The, we can link it. We can link it to Major Howard. That's true. That's true. We can't prove anything. <laughs> what? Hmm. Did I say something startling, prosecutor? I don't know. Please continue, Your Majesty. I think the prosecution is startled because he just came to the realization that I was not spouting drivel in the previous trial session. Well, that's debatable. To cut a long story short, Your Majesty, this mademoiselle may hold some relevance to the case at hand. Could you describe her? It's going to be this one. Mm-hmm. Really? She's relevant? Well, let me think. I didn't get a good look at her face, but she was a sorry-looking swan, probably in her late teens or early twenties. There we go. A young, sorry-looking swan, you know, as you say. I don't suppose her name was... Mademoiselle Signé. Swanson! <laughs> A.K.A. Ron. Mademoiselle Signé? Signé? That sounds familiar. Well, yes, I think that was it. She was called Mademoiselle Signé. I see. This is undoubtedly significant. Mademoiselle Signé gave chocolates to Major Howell minutes before he died. Now, just one minute. I see what you're alluding to, JJ. You're suggesting the gifted chocolates kill the major. But that line of reasoning holds little no weight because the evidence is circumstantial. Circumstantial? My tail feathers. The king justified that Major Hal ate chocolates. Yes, that much is no longer in dispute, but you still have not proved the chocolates were poisoned. Without that, we must assume that the swan was merely offering rather than speculating that she is a murderer. Yes, yes! Shame on you, defense. Implicating a poor innocent girl like that. Absolutely disgusting. Why ought to end this trial? Hold on, I do have evidence that the chocolate was, in fact, poisoned. I don't believe you, JJ. If you have that piece of evidence that's significant, you, you have slammed it down already. Present it. Well, I can't. It's not really the evidence folder type of evidence. Why am I not surprised? Err. Uh, hey? Huh. The drama was just getting good. Why did you all of a sudden go quiet? Well, Your Majesty, it appears that the defense just had a realization of his own, that is, that he lacks the evidence to support his theory. Since he cannot continue with his argument, I believe the cross-examination has come to an end. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Let me present my evidence. See, I had the chocolate rubber back in my office and Sparrowson ate it. Stop, JJ. Stop while you still have a little dignity. The results of whatever crackpot pseudoscientific experiment you performed did not constitute valid evidence. I think this trial is over, Your Honor. About bloody time, may take your leave, Your Majesty. Very well, I am pleased that justice has been thoroughly served. Till the next assassination oh attempt, God. adieu, messieurs. Oh my gosh. I will now deliberate with the jury. <laughs> Objection! Sparrison! Sorry, oh. I've always wanted to do that. Sparrison, are you okay? Yep, the doctor said I have an iron stomach. Most of the poison passed straight through me. Speaking of which, I'd like to testify that I poison that poison chocolate issue. I even got a doctor's note. See? <laughs> It's too late, the trial is over. You can't be serious, Your Honor. The contents of that note could turn the entire trial into and you must allow it. Why are you constantly arguing with me? I thought the job of public prosecutors is, is to assist judges. To 
told you, Your Honor, my job is to get isn't to get a guilty verdict, it's to ensure that justice is served. I swear you're the worst prosecutor in all of France. Go on, Sparrowson. Read the contents of the note for the court to hear. Ahem. <laughs> this patient, Sparrowson, was submitted to Salpetrier Hospital, where he displayed a variety of symptoms. These included profuse sweating, a rapid fever, and severe nausea. The patient was diagnosed with poisoning, probably originating from a plant known as aconite, a.k.a. monksfoot, a.k.a. wolfsbane. <gasps> wolfsbane. When we questioned the patient, he admitted to having consumed a discarded chocolate wrapper potentially carrying the poison. When examining the contents of the patient's stomach, confirmed this to be true. As a mental professional, I, I believe this patient should be clinically, uh, we can skip that part. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, here we go. Signed, Dr. Faure. Thank you, Sparrowson. I don't think I'll ne ever even need to question you. Between your note and the King's testimony, every angle of the chocolate wrapper business has been covered. Awesome. Wait, wait. Did you see the King was here? You can get his autograph later. Right. So what happens now? Do I get to be cross-examined by the prosecutor or something? To be honest, I have little to cross-examine. Do your damn job, prosecutor. Cross-examine the little annoying liar of a bird. Tear his testimony into shreds. Your Honor, he has a note signed by a medical professional definitively proving that the chocolate wrapper was from, from the crime scene was poisoned. We can nitpick the details or delve into the doctor's credentials, but I fear it will be a waste of time. Nobody wants that. Ha! So then, what the hell do we do now? We do nothing, Your Honor. The poison wrapper has introduced an element of doubt to the case. The prosecution must accept that. But is the level of doubt reasonable? Is it significant? I think the members of the jury will agree JJ's evidence is still tenuous. Tenuous? A step above circumstantial. You have proven a link, not a wholly logic illogical link. But you haven't proved beyond doubt that Major Howell was killed by chocolate. You haven't proved beyond a major doubt that he was he was killed by the Ah, oh, Rose. You're still making far too many assumptions. Where is the empiricism that was required by any good court of law? Where are the witnesses who can back up your claims? Oh, I brought along a witness, maybe she can help. Is it the is it the one? Hey, it's in yay! Oh. Oh, hello. You. Sparrow said, it's great to see you on your- <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, I just want to talk all the time, Fallwin. I just want to talk all the time. Get your own show. <laughs> Stop that. Sparrow said, it's great to see you on your feet, and you have been an enormous asset to this case. But what are you trying to pull off now? Surprise witness. Surprise witness? Yeah, I remember you mentioning that Kokoriko liked calling surprise witnesses, so I thought we had to beat him at his own game. I brought the flower girl, Mademoiselle Signier, so she can testify about Prince Juan's character. You're putting me in a difficult position, Sparrowson. Just moments before you arrived, we, the court, established that Mademoiselle Signier is a possible suspect for the case. What? That can't be right. Sparrowson, it's okay. Monsieur Falcon would like to testify. You want to testify? Do you understand what you're agreeing to? I do. I've accepted my fate. Prosecutor, do you have any objections to me calling upon Mademoiselle Signier as a witness? No, none. Bearing in mind, of course, that you're here to defend Prince Juan, not convict Mademoiselle Signier. Prosecuting is my job. And <laughs> we don't want to take his job from him. Of course, of course, of course. I have no objections either. Please proceed, witness. Speak the oath. And we will continue with Mademoiselle Signier's testimony uh, in the next episode of If You're Attorney. It, um, we're just building to it, aren't we? Like, oh. we finally got to this point where I just want to know more and you're stopping the episode. That's it, okay. It's, it's like it's like onions. There's well, just so many layers. <laughs> well, we'll have to come back next time yep, for thanks. a wonderful new episode. Yep. Thanks again for watching Fawan and Friends play Avery Attorney. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. And don't forget to share the video. And please follow us on Instagram and Twitter. The Instagram and Twitter. They, like they do in the game, they tweet Yes, they do tweet to each other. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah. Too. And All we'll right. see you next time, everybody. All right, everybody. Take care. See you next time.